I'm going to be transplanting my chili peppers. They've been in my heated propagator for the last few weeks. You can see a video, I'll pop a link below, of how I sowed those seeds. And now um, you can see they've gotten a little bit leggy. They, at this time of year, unless you've got lights, the seedlings are really trying to find light. So also the nutrients of they're beginning to need nutrients that my seed compost didn't hold. So I'm going to move them into a, some modules for the moment that has got a potting compost. It's an organic potting mix and that will just start to get them going a bit more. I haven't found at the moment, I'm looking for some more pots, some bigger pots that I can put them in, but this will get them going for the time being. And then as, I can, as they get a little bit bigger, I can move them into some bigger pots again. I'm also very conscious that these are going to be on my windowsills in the, in the house still. Still too cold in the polytunnel. Even, I think, chancing it on the heated bench out here, it's, uh, currently it's only 8 degrees at the moment. It's really quite cold. So I'm going to keep them in the house. So I've, I can't have lots of big pots everywhere. I don't have the space. So I'll try them in these modules and see how we get on kind of have to use what we have to hand and at the moment this is all I have. Let's get going. I've filled up some modules with the potting mix so this now has the extra nutrients that seedlings need and I've made some holes in each of them. I've also popped a label in uh, because they're all the same plant going into the same module I've just got the one label. If it was uh, if I had a different varieties I'd put a label in each of them then here we go. Usually I wait until I have more leaves on before I do anything with seedlings. These leaves here are called the seed leaves. They're the first leaves that come out when a seed has germinated. Following on from those you start to get the true leaves or the real leaves um, and it's usually when I have those leaves that I pot on but because they've gotten leggy I'm gonna have to I'm gonna go for them now when I'm potting on kitchen fork is a really great bit of kit and I'm gonna just carefully hold the leaves I don't touch the roots and I don't touch the stem because that's still very delicate and I'm gonna pop it straight into the hole I've made Make sure that make sure that the bottom of the roots feel the touch the bottom of the hole. You don't want roots just dangling in midair, and then you can cover over. And you can, when they're this leggy, you can actually bury some of the stems a bit as well. It won't hurt the little plants. There we go. So that's one done. Let's have another go. So I'm holding the seed leaf underneath carefully with my fork. I'll leave a little bit of soil on there and then into my next hole that's ready and gently fill in around. Seed leaves. You don't want to damage the stem or the roots and you can see the roots there. So into the bottom of the hole and you can use the fork just to help guide you and then cover them over. Just top up a little bit. Some lovely sounds of spring out here They're from neighbouring farms I can hear little lambs bleating the next one, in it goes. So I'm going to take these off the heat uh, inside. I'm just going to have them in the windowsill. Now they're up and out. They don't really need the heat to germinate. You can see I've got six in there. Popped 
tucked in there nicely. Well, there will be in a second. There's the last one. Nice and gently in it goes. And just top up. Oh, gosh. Very delicate at this stage. It's another reason why it's good to plant extra. Because if you don't happen to damage any, you've still got some spares. So hopefully you're all going to... There we go. You're not going to damage any, are you? I'm going to do it nice and gently. There we go. And in it goes. And you can see I've... Right up to there. You can do the same with tomatoes if your tomatoes are up this high. That's it. That's the job done. I'm now going to water. Uh, so I'm going to actually... And if you have watched any of the previous videos, you'll have seen that I mentioned about keeping my water warm. This has been on the heated bench, so the little seedlings aren't going to get a massive shock from being watered with freezing water. This water has warmed up a little bit. I'll just top it up here. And now just keep an eye on them, keep them watered. And hopefully they'll come on a bit more. I've actually got some more in the house that I'll just fill in these holes with. But uh, that's it for the moment. I hope that's helped with your next stage of transplanting your peppers into bigger pots or modules. And as these grow and get bigger, now as they start to perhaps touch each other once the leaves begin to touch each other I'll be thinking about putting them into a bigger pot again. These won't be going out into my polytunnel soil until probably about May, April, maybe April, May and um, so I'm going to have to keep them pots in pots until that time. It won't be warm enough for them to be in the soil out here until a few more weeks yet anyway. But. Uh, that's for at the moment. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to ask any questions. If you have any, uh, leave the comments below. Thanks. Bye.